What's good, Scope fam? It's Castle Scope. We back with another video. Today in this video, I want to talk to you guys about Game Three: Trailblazers vs. Warriors, and also lost three by the Trailblazers. Somehow, man, the Trailblazers just can't get it together. I I just feel like whenever they have a lead, the Warriors just aren't. They're not worried. The Warriors are never worried during the game. They don't do no bickering, none of that. The team chemistry is just a one. But the Trailblazers, they always are off to a good start, have a good lead, and the, the Warriors just come back. You guys seen after the first half, the, in the third quarter, they came out with a 13-0 thirteen to zero run led by Steph and all of them. Draymond Green with the triple-double. Let's check the box score real quick, man. Draymond Green, he, he definitely played well yesterday. 38 minutes, 6 for 12 field goals, 12 rebounds, 13 total rebounds, 12 defensive rebounds, 1 offensive. 12 assists and 20 points. My man's just balling out. They can't stop him in the fast break somehow. Like, they can't stop him in the fast break for some reason because Draymond Green is out there actually looking fast, lightning quick. But this has been the problem for the Trailblazers all series. They don't get back on defense. After they score, they want to lollygag back and not get back on defense. And another area where the Trailblazers definitely struggled was. There's two stars, Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum, once again. Once again, they did not play that well. Like, they, they always play, like, pretty good in the first half. But then once it gets to the clutch time, they haven't been playing well. I need my man Dame to step up. Damian had 40 minutes, but he went 5 for 18. And he had 3 for 9 from deep, man. This is free throws, 6 out of 8. 19 points. His plus minus was a negative 23. And CJ was a negative 6, man. And CJ went 7 for 20. This can be happening if the Trailblazers want to at least get one game. They got they got one more game at their house. They might as well get one game. Because I know it's 3-0. And my prediction is they're not going to win. They're not going to win at all. Because no one's ever came back from a 3-0. And the way that they play, I don't see it happening. And the Warriors chemistry, they don't even have KD or Boogie. And they're just playing, playing a lot better. That brings up... If you guys say that the Warriors are more talented... Not more, not more. The better team without Kevin Durant. That's that's definitely wrong. But you can definitely say their chemistry is better without Kevin Durant because they really fire on all cylinders and everybody is really keen in. One good takeaway for the Blazers, you could say, was Myers Leonard because he had been having a up and down, up and down kind of type of season, and he's always unsure of himself. You could even see it yesterday. He was unsure of himself when he was pass faking, not wanting to shoot sometimes. But my man's went off. He had 31 minutes, six for 12. 3 for 7 from deep, and he has 16 points. That's definitely a good game for Myers Leonard. So if you're the Trailblazers, that's a good sign. Because I don't think they're winning this series at all. And I think, I think, all right, I'm going to give them some hope. Next game, they will definitely win at home. They got to at least win one. Dame's poised for a breakout game because this has not been the Dame I know. But he's poised for a breakout game. One more game at their home place. I think the series will end to a 4-1. Take them to game five. At least have something to say. We got one in the playoffs. Don't want to get swept. Because they got swept last season. That was embarrassing. But this has been a good season for the Trailblazers. No doubt. No doubt for sure. But they got to at least get one before they get sent home. So if you're the Portland Trailblazers, you really got to buckle down and say to the team, the leaders of the team, Damian and CJ, we got to at least get one before we get sent home. Or don't even have that mentality. Just say, we can do this. We can come back from a 3 0. But. We know that's not very possible, but there's nothing that's impossible in the NBA, in the league, man. So, Trailblazers got to pull it together, get at least one at their home place. And what do you guys think about the series? You guys think Damian Lillard's, he, he was on a rise, on a rise for the point guards, top point guards. I'm still putting them over Russ right now. He's in my top five for sure still, but he's struggling. CJ McCollum's struggling, but they definitely have had a good run this season. And in the next coming years, I feel like if they get some free agents into Portland, it'll be a, a big problem in the West. But anyways, y'all, let me know what you guys think about the series. Who's going to win the next game? What's the max games you think you see the series going to? And until next time, it's been your boy, Kyle Sosko, and I'm out of here. Peace.